Hey guys, this is Hawk. Welcome back to the channel and to the long dark. So if you recall at the end of the last episode, we are kind of in the middle of the power plant right now. We're trying to figure out this puzzle of um, these levers that are frozen shut and we have to redirect the steam so that they get appropriately um, thawed out um, so that we can actually get into things like because when we get the steam redirected when we get this uh, unfrozen so that we can redirect the steam it'll thaw this door out and we'll be able to get through here um, so we were part way through that at the end of the last episode I obviously as I mentioned at the end of the last episode I went to sleep um, I used a bunch of this coal, kind of had the fire going all night. Right now it is working on making me some more water. <gasps> Was that potable? Oh, thank goodness. Shh. I don't know how I'm getting snow from in here, to be perfectly honest. It's funny to me that, you know... Okay, now I've got three liters of water. I should be good for a while. Okay. All right, so let's gr grab our flare again. I was worried I was going to get burnt by that stuff, but I don't seem to be. Okay. That did, in fact, work. When we redirected the ones on that side... It unfroze this one. So we're going to open this valve, which should give pressure to this whole contraption. Yes, that's now all the way up. Now that brings that back out here. Is this now thawed? Sure is. Which should thaw this door out. So this is not where I want to go precisely, but I want to know what's in here. Feels like a lot of gear. Sure is. And this fur firewood weighs a ton. Wait, is this the control room? Because I thought the control room was at the other side. Okay, I didn't... I wasn't done out here yet. There's about a million ways to go here. How about I drop the fur firewood? What is through here? Can I? I can't stand up. This is a crouch the entire way. I already have simple tools. That's frozen. I don't need a heavy hammer. As far as I'm aware, the heavy hammer is only used for, like, on the forge. Thought maybe I could use it to hammer that 
Let's drop it. I'm hoping this gets us under our carry weight. Not quite. And when I say under our carry weight, I mean under the, uh, under 50 kilograms, which is 10 kilograms overweight. I'm hoping once I light these lanterns, they stay lit. All right, let's go back out through the door. <laughs> let's get the rest of this figured out. That got us under 50 kilograms. We can run now. By redirecting that stuff. Did that... That's still frozen. Okay, that was why I was coming back down here, was to see... Okay, so those are coming from the other side. So I was actually in the right spot. I thought maybe the reason I that lever was frozen when I crouched through there was because of the fact that I hadn't finished that out there yet by the control room door. But let's see what we got going on in here. You are open. Question is, should you be? Okay. I don't know the answer to that. This stuff will come in handy. I'm taking the jeans so I've got something to so it's I can break them down and carry this load for much longer. Loss. Okay, so this is all frozen through here. Let's go ahead and flip this lever over here. See what happens. Okay. You're open. Be closed. Wait, really? Oh my gosh, I'm really very far overweight. All right, guys, give me just a minute. I'm going to break down some clothing. Be right back.
All right, guys, we are back. Um, in order to get myself under my carry capacity, uh, well, under 50, um, I broke down most of the spare clothing we had found in the lockers, repaired some a few things, also took a few minutes to sleep because Mackenzie was getting pretty tired till I was getting done with that. And I also left this jerry can here for the moment. I'm planning on picking it back up when we are on our way back out. But for now, this is about, we had just gotten past here. I closed that one, I think. And I was here. You can see I, I also, there's a reason there's scrap metals because I had a spare lantern on me that I had found. I scrapped that so that I could get the fuel, left the scrap metal behind. And also the flare back there was burnt out. I like that these lanterns are on the wall. Makes things nicer. Hope I can still eat this. It's a good thing there's a bunch of food down here because, to be perfectly honest, I don't have a ton left. Oh. Okay. So, did any of what I did thaw out this lever at the end of this tunnel? mind this as a puzzle. I just kind of wish that this was not so... There we go. I kind of wish there were sections that you didn't have to crouch to be able to get through. I thought maybe the function of that hammer was to get rid of the padlock. Alright. Yeah, the crouching through here, I like I said, I this is maybe a bit much. I don't mind the puzzle. I just don't really want to have to crouch if I don't have to, you know? Alright, so we should be able to go back out. I assume that the um, control room door is open, but I need to grab my jerry can down here. is slowing me down. Probably is. Yeah, he's at 51 again. A lot of the weight is the jerry cans, plus the extra water that I made. Okay, let's go back this way and see if uh, this is now. This should be thawed out, I would expect. Yeah, it sure is. It should melt our door. So, OK, 
Okay, that door doesn't open. Okay. Break the machine. Where did that go? Find a hammer. You jerk game. I know where the hammer is. I think this was the sh shorter way to it. Wait, let me think. No, that's right, it's through... It's through here. It's silly me thinking that they would put a hammer in the game that didn't have a functional purpose. Still can't break my way out of that padlock, huh? take this out and just lay it by the uh, fire barrel in case I decide I need any her firewood really does weigh rather a lot Do I want to chance it? This is just stale. Maybe it'll be okay. Okay. All right, let's break some stuff. Kenzie's a beast! I just earned the Steve achievement, achievement that says, just like new. Yeah, just like new, huh? <laughs> this gear is starting to slow me down. I am quite sure that it is.
All right, guys, well, this is going to be a very uneventful trek just back into the power station, so I'll catch up with you on the other side. All right, guys, we are back at the power station. Um, I thought I'd restart the video here just because we're about to walk by the telephone. I don't know if Jace is going to call back. Not so much. All right, but before we leave anywhere, we're going to go ahead and take a nap. Alright guys, we are back. We are leaving the power plant. We are still more than 10 kilograms over encumbered. Um, whoa. However, that's... We're not by much. It's by 0.36. So I think we'll be okay for now. Um... Is there a more expeditious way to get back to where we're going? Just out of curiosity, I just wanted to... I don't think that there is. I think we got to kind of go that winding route back. Okay. All right, guys. Well, you saw the whole trek here. I mean, it's pretty much a winding road that's going to kind of take us all through, I think, kind of go down here and out around or something like that and here and then it comes back and out around through here it's, it's a little crazy so I'll bring you back in if something interesting happens but otherwise uh, I will catch back up with you when we get back to the power substation all right guys we successfully made it back to the power substation um, the only exciting thing that happened on the trek back is that we encountered a um, pack of timber wolves. I threw two, two noisemakers at them. They ran away. Um, so nothing really exciting happened. I did spend some time here. I repaired um, all of my clothing, uh, which was probably unnecessary. Um, to be frank, the reason I was actually working on it was because of the fact that um, there's an achievement tied to it, and I'm one of those people. Um, I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. But the time has come. Wolf skin coat. Oh goodness, it's going to take 25 hours. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's spend four hours. This is an event making this coat. I tell you what. Right? Still got an hour left, which means that the. Let's grab a drink quickly. I'm just about out of water, too. I'm going to need to make more. It does get very cold at night. Let's make these peaches that were... Maybe make ourselves some more water.
Um. Let's spend two more hours on it. All right, so I got 15 hours left. Looks like I can do another half hour. Okay. You know what? Mackenzie's still awake. Let's just keep going. Somehow it's the time gets a little borked. Uh, got an hour left. I've never made my own clothing in this game, so this is new for me. 27 minutes. Gonna have to go back inside and get water. Got ten hours left. Grab some food. I could cook this while I'm out there. Uh too heavy. You will be just fine. Okay, do I have the tablets? Thought I had some. Oh, and I've got one on me, actually. I need to get out the rest of the water, though. Go ahead and use these. I got six and a half liters. I won't be able to finish all of it, but Okay, lots of water now. I should still have, what, a liter and a half? Yeah. Goodness for that. Cook these peaches. I think I had some pork and beans that were fairly low condition on me. Maybe not. That's just a lot of cans. Okay. 
be honest, we could actually eat this right away. Which means all that I've got left is the MREs because I spent, like I said, it's I've been here for about an entire day. Working on some odd and end things and um, other than just this wolf jacket. Okay, that's an hour and a half. That is nowhere near enough time. Three hours. Wolf jacket, three hours. through another night. Alright, how cold is he going to get if I just do the last five hours? Not overly yet. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. <laughs> oh look, Mackenzie, you've got a nice shiny new coat. Where is it? Look how beautiful it is! <sighs> Actually... How does he look in it? Awesome. The bad part is I'm probably going to wear it on the inside because of the fact that um, I, I think it'll be better protected if it's... Oh, it's got 15%. And I've got the stuff to repair it. I mean, I've got more wolf pelts in here. Plus, I've got one that should be cured, I would imagine, by now. Something's gotta go. Okay. And then I think I was... had my extra clothing in here. For this jacket. Okay. Yes. Something else. You're only saying that because you need to sleep. Unfortunately, it's going to be night time till the time I wake up. Let's sleep one more hour. Get the rest meter fully up. Okay. What time of day is it? It's turning night. And as I mentioned, I have a very limited amount of food here. Um, 1,750 calories. If he doesn't need all of this, will he eat it all? Oh, cool. Alright, so we are going to have to be on the lookout for some food. I don't think I think all I've got left in here as far as food goes is dog food. And I don't think I've got anything in any of the other ones. And I think this is all just pelts. Yep. Here, let me take my dog food. Okay. We have to make our way back. To you, the jail. Um, anything else before I go? I've got just a mess, an absolute mess of cans on me. I honestly would like to make some more of the noisemakers, but I don't think I've got any cloth at all. 
I've only got one. Do I have any more in here? I sure don't. Any in here? Nope. We'll take another flare, though. And as I mentioned, nothing in there. What all is in here? Okay. Uh, just check our inventory one more time. I have no fire starting stuff. I should probably grab some more of that. That looks good. That looks good. That looks as good as it can. Um, let's drop this. This still has 3.2 kilograms. Yeah. I think I have some firewood in here. Okay. And 13 sticks. I'm gonna hope I don't need them. It's probably going to be dark and stormy. Because it gets very stormy at nights. Seems like. Alright guys, a little on the dark side, so... I'll probably go ahead and... Uh, Catch you back up here once we get, well, probably to the vicinity of the Cook Farm. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, we are in the gatehouse. Uh, have some cured pelts here. Um, I'm not actually, actually not sure not why I'm picking them up. Because I just spent, I just unloaded everything off of Mackenzie. I got out his clothes that I stored in this little plastic container. And so you can see the only things we have on him right now are Mackenzie clothes. Uh, jeans, shirt, shoes, socks. So we are going... I didn't even, I didn't even keep a bandage on me this time. Um, so we are going to head into the prison and see what Mathis has in store for us this time. Oh, hello. There's somebody outside. You're still alive. Shit. Looks like I lost that bet. <laughs> Any luck with the job Mattis gave you? I made it to the power plant. The whole place is dead. Nothing obvious to be done to get it running again. Too bad. Mathis will be disappointed. Oh well. Back in your cage, Doug. Hey, you awake yet? Yep, I'm here. Any luck at the power plant? If by luck you mean I managed to not get the power back up and running, then yeah, you could say I had some luck. You found them, didn't you? Whoever's out there messing up Mathis's plans? Not really, but I spoke to them again. Whoever they are, they really don't like Donner. Well, then we have to do whatever we can to help them. Okay, but how? Just keep doing what you're doing. We have to find a way to slow Mathis down. A little hard to do that from inside a cell. Maybe not. Quick, get back. Well, well. Look what my guys found while investigating the old parts of the prison. Whoa. Uh -oh. Someone is seriously fucking with me. Someone who clearly knows more about this prison than they should. 
knew exactly what to sabotage to keep us from getting into solitary. You know anything about this, pilot? I have no idea what that is. Sure, I figured as much. Whoever did this took a big risk and went through a lot of effort. For nothing. We found another way in. A big-ass key that will unlock the door to solitary, or any other door we want. It's called dynamite. Damn it, Mathis. Haven't you done enough to my prison? Shut your mouth! I'll deal with you later. Listen, pilot. It's time to get back to work. What now? Detonators. Can't do shit with this dynamite unless we find detonators. Since we found the dynamite in one of the machine sheds, the detonators should be around somewhere. Of course, we can't find them. So, I'll probably have to go a few more rounds with my friend the warden here to find out where they are. You just sit tight, and I'll tell you when I'm done. You may want to plug your ears. Now, listen, Mathis, there's no need for that. Come on, warden. Don't ruin my fun. Detonators. That dynamite is old. We kept it in storage because we didn't have a safe way to get it back to the mainland. That's a nice story. Wait, wait. B but I know where you can find some. I'm listening. Old mine in the hills just above the prison. It was shut down suddenly for safety reasons after the quakes, but most of the gear was left up there. I bet there are some detonator caps up there. Interesting. You heard the man. Get going. Yeah, Doc. Time to get back out there. <laughs> Wait. Mathis, just... Leave him alone. I'll do it. I'll be quick. You better hurry up, pilot. I think Mathis wants to let off some steam. Wait. Mathis. Chapter 3, Detonators they just... What a blizzard. I won't be much use to Franklin if I get myself killed. Let's get back into the gatehouse here that I can't even see. There we go. Close the door. Okay. All right, guys. Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and sort out Mackenzie's inventory again here, but this is going to be where we're going to call this an episode. Um, oh, gosh. We've got to go back through that wolf-infested area. Hmm. I might actually... Uh, is there anything here that I can tear apart for cloth? I want to make some more noise... I don't think so. We might go back over to the infirmary um, before, when we head out for, before we head out for the next episode to tear apart whatever cloth is over there. Um, but I'm going to call the episode here. So I'm going to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to like and comment. Also subscribe so that you get notified for future videos. But for now, my name is Hawk, and this has been The Long Dark. And I will catch you guys next time.